Colorado has lost a local legend. Tonight, people are remembering the Sandman who for years delighted people passing by with his unique sand art. 10 News reporter Matt Boone spoke to residents about what made Sandman's work so special. Yeah, he had a few popular hangout spots. This was one of them in front of the El Cordova Hotel. The sand that would come off the beach, that was his paint, and then the pavement became his canvas. I can tell you the Sandman was a real interesting character. Interesting only begins to describe the life of Alberto Avila, known on Coronado as Sandman. He would wear a Navy uh, uniform, this hat and his, the jacket, even in the hot summer days, and wave at everybody that came on the island. He first started his signature sand art about 15 years ago. When he first came on the scene, nobody was sure what to make of him. Uh, he was missing his front teeth and he always had a little bottle of booze in his pocket, you know, that he'd take hits off of. Joe Dittler is a longtime Coronado resident and local historian. I have to admit, I wasn't real fond of him. But that changed one day when he drove his old Model T down to the beach. And when I came back, he had drawn a circle around the back of my Model T, and he had written Ford, like the Ford logo on my truck from 1924. <laughs> and I think that day I just I fell in love with the guy. For many locals, he was part of their daily routine. He was so creative, such an artist, and he had such a good heart. Laurel Wolf said she'd see him on her morning walk. Do you think anybody can replace him? No, no. He made the news in 2017 after he was cited by police for leaving the sand in the street. But by that time, he'd already become a local celebrity. Thank you, thank you very much. Nearby at Little Sam's Beach Shop. Something about the beach life. Owner Sam Frederick says even tourists had heard about his art. Yeah, they would ask, where do you get those pretty pictures on the street? For the past two years, he'd mostly been living with family in Texas, battling liver cancer. But while his art was temporary, locals say his memory lives on. He'll go down as one of the great icons in Coronado, uh, and history will remember him fondly. And actually, when I did that story back in 2017, he was out here and he wrote my name in sand, so I've got that memory. He's definitely going to be missed out here in Coronado. Reporting tonight in Coronado, Matt Boone, 10 News.